Hi guys, Jamsview here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to show you on how to do a virtual animation video in Twinmotion similar to the opening video. Without further ado, let's start. The SketchUp file is downloaded from CG Tips. I will put the download link in the description below. Open Twinmotion and delete all assets in the scene. Import file. Delete this broken geometry from the imported file. I need to create first an image view to set up my rendering parameter setting. Position the camera view similar to this. Go to media and click the plus icon to create image. Under render settings, enable lumen. Set sliding bars to full for both the scene detail and view distance tab. Under lumen reflection settings. Drag the slider bar to full for quality and bounce count. For shadow, just change for shadow bias around 0.15. For the environment settings, scroll down, expand HDRI environment and enable backdrop HDRI. Change HDRI map. I will put the download link for the HDRI map in the description below. Increase HDRI map intensity to 100 and rotation value to 240 degrees. Set positioning to center. Increase size to 1000 and height offset to negative 20. Scroll up and disable auto exposure and set exposure value to 6. Enable local exposure and set sliding bars for highlight reduction and shadow boost to 1. Expand detail for global lighting settings. Increase sun intensity to 50. Increase also ambient value to 2 and reduce white balance to 5000. Go to camera settings and change focal length value to 24 mm and increase sharpness to For the curtain materials, just use any white fabric texture. Open it in Photoshop and save as PNG file with 50% opacity.
Make sure you unchecked use opacity map tab. Apply plain cotton material for side window curtain. Apply clear glass material for window and reduce the opacity to 15%. For most of the materials I only change the roughness value. Just follow workflow in doing so. I also tried adding some box reflection probe into scene and see if there are some improvement. Increase size around 25 meters. Duplicate it and place it near the kitchen. Now we're going to add some lighting into the scene. First add IES 20. Enable shadow. Change attenuation value to 6 meters and intensity to 10. Now place it all in pin light fixture.
Delete this broken geometry in the sofa. Adjust the pillow placement in the sofa. From time to time I'm also editing some of the material's roughness value. For the pin light material change emissive glow value to 100. Continue with placement of the IES lights. Add area light as cove lighting just above the TV set. Change length value to 0 0.2 and width value to 5.2. Change color temperature around 3000 and intensity to 2. Add also some area light in the bookshelves.
change length value around 0.1 and with value to 1. Enable shadow. Position your area light just enough not to hide the light. Change light intensity to 1 and color temperature around 3200 Kelvin. Change the width value again to 0.5 and intensity to 1. Duplicate it around all corner of the shelves. Copy one more for the bigger shelves. Make sure you select copy and not instance. Now add a video materials to the TV. Go to the materials tab and add video material. Go to video and click plus icon to generate first video frame. Go to video format and select UHD. Edit width value around 2000 and height value to 2800. Now move your viewport closer to the shelves and click refresh icon to update our first frame. Copy the first frame by selecting plus icon. Just follow workflow in creating camera movements.
Check preview. I forgot to turn off this 3 IES light through the bedroom hall so we need to turn it off until the beginning of the, the first frame of the video. Just click each frame, turn off the 3 IES light and click the refresh icon to update each video frame. From the bedroom hall, duplicate like five similar views. The first one would be all the IES from bedroom hallway are turn off. The second copy would be one IES light will turn on and so forth. From the bedroom hallway move your camera to sitting area. Lastly facing towards the window. Set 25 seconds long video. Let's try to export our video. You can either choose either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. It's good result but there's some flickering effect at the end of the video. So I made some few changes. First one is I changed the curtain materials. Second is go to the video and select settings. Under HDRI map environment, rotate map around 70 degrees. This are just some experiment changes to avoid some flickering effect. It will not totally eliminate flickering to some degree, but only lessen. Let's export the video. Now we'll just export it with 30 frames per second to save time.
It's better than the previous result, but I noticed that there is a glitch between the kitchen to bedroom hallway transition. So I tried to delete this to reflection proof. Now let's try again to export our video. much better. Remember do not limit yourself with creating camera movements. That's all guys, thank you for watching. If I miss something or not clear at some point, please do not hesitate to comment down below. I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge regarding your queries. Till my next video, bye.